This is a classic question that's used at Facebook for data scientist interviews. You're about to get on a plane to Seattle. You wanna know if you should bring an umbrella. You call three random friends of yours who live there and ask each independently if it's raining. Each of your friends has a two third chance of telling you the truth and a third chance of messing with you by lying. All three friends tell you, yes, it's raining. What's the probability that it's actually raining in Seattle? Let's take a look at this question. Um, there are two parts, right? There's the part of whether it's actually raining or not. And then there's the part about what your friends are telling you and whether or not that's true. So if we keep track of these two parts, um, uh, we might say, so we might say there's this event raining um, and we might just call this like R. Uh, so I'm gonna call the event R uh, related to raining. And we could say there's some probability of that event. So I'll write this this way. You have P of R. Um, so this is the probability that it's raining. And then the other part is just like, if it's not raining. And a lot of times we might just write this as one minus P of R. So this is the probability it's not raining. Here's the probability it is raining. And then the second part of this is what your friends are telling you. Like, is it true or not? So, um, And for each friend, we basically said that is two thirds chance that they're telling you the truth and a one third chance that they're, that they're lying to you, right? So um, we could just do one minus. Right. So there's a chance that they're lying to you. There's a chance that they're telling you the truth. Um, and then the main thing here is uh, we wanna know the probability that it's, uh, we want to know what's the chance that it's actually raining, given that uh, all of them told you that it was, right? So there's two ways that that can, that can happen. They could all tell you uh, a lie, or they could all tell you the truth, right? So if it's actually raining, they all three tell you that it's raining and that's the truth, or they all three tell you that it's raining and that's a lie. What is the probability that it's actually raining in Seattle? So we want to know what is this probability? Um, given that we know uh, they told us um, yes, 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 right? So, uh -uh. so, right, this, this is what we know. We know yes, yes, yes. And we wanna know what's the probability that it's raining. So here's what we wanna know. This is what we do know. Um, and so let's see here. The way that we can think of this is, um, there's basically two things that can happen. There's uh, yes, 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 where all three are lies, and that's this one third to the third or yes, 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 where all three are truths. And that's this two thirds to the third. Um, and so the, the lies would be that it's actually not raining. So I'm gonna call this and maybe we do like, uh, I might call this like one uh, P to the R not is this not raining probability. And so we can put that here. Yeah, so it's one third to the third times the probability it's not raining or two thirds to the third times the probability it's raining. And the only true raining part, this part that we wanna know is this part right here. So this part also would show up in the numerator and this fraction would give us this probability that it's raining, right? So this is yes, 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 times the probability it's not raining plus yes, 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 times the probability that it's raining and this whole thing is the probability that it's raining. Right? This is yes and it's not, yes, 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 and it's not raining. Yes, 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 and it is raining. And the numerator is the yes, 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 and it is raining um, component. So the, the final fraction just looks like two thirds to the third times P. Two thirds to the third times PR. So this, this whole thing gives us the final answer but um, you can actually see this has Bayes' rule in it. 
uh, and we've kind of divided it into the three components that we're looking at. This is not raining. So this is the not raining component. This is the raining component. This is the raining component again, it's the same thing. But this not raining is associated with the yes, yes, yes. And this is the raining component associated with yes, yes, yes. So um, yeah, so that's the final answer to, to this interview question. The way that I've been asked this is actually with falling stars and not raining, but it's like, what's the chance that, uh, imagine that there's a 5% chance that you see a falling star on any given night what's the chance that you go through an entire week and you don't see a falling star? It's like a pretty common way to, to phrase this question. Um, and, but yeah, the, the same thought process can, can be done as here. You can kind of walk through the possibilities of, okay, here's the chance that I see a falling star. And, um, and so uh, this assumption of independence is the main, one of the main ideas that allows you to do this multiplication in this way. So one of the things that an interviewer might be looking for when they ask this question is whether you understand each of these components that are associated with the solution. So can you find this probability of rain? Can you find the probability of not rain? Do you understand that the way that you can get to this yes, yes, yes is basically it's not raining and they give you three yeses and the probability that it's raining and they give you three yeses. Do you understand independence and the fact that you can just multiply these things together directly? Um, but those are kind of the, the two main components are arriving at what are the probabilities associated with the events that actually happen? And then how can you piece those into a final solution? The main things that you want to avoid is just jumping straight into a solution. So one of the things that you'll notice that I tried to do before was outline each of these different parts so what's the probability of rain? What's the probability of not raining? What's the probability of the truth? What's the probability of the not truth? Trying to find those events and associate the different probabilities with them. We're a little limited on space here, but if you had more space, if you have more time, like making sure that you clearly identify each of these parts and how you're thinking about the problem can make sure that either you are allowing the interviewer to follow you through the, the your thought process or if you make a mistake, it's easier for them to help you. They can jump in and say, oh, no, 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 that assumption is wrong. Or no, the probability you got in this part is wrong. But if you don't clearly outline each of the parts, you can end up getting to some solution that's wrong, but that they can't help you get to a right answer because they weren't able to follow each of the pieces.